We're going to make a little Van Gogh of our own homes or our own places today. Uh, this is the art project. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy this video or if it's helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I got this idea off of artistschooler.com. You need to go and check uh, that website out. So here's my picture, uh, the final product, and uh, these are the steps that I used to get to it. Get to it. First, I took a picture of the road outside of my school. That's my school on the right, and I printed it out in black and white. I then cut it out on the line between the sky and the trees and the building. Between the uh, this is the skyline. And I checked to see what part of the picture that I wanted to use. And I used the part on the far right. I then put it on the paper and I traced the skyline edge so that I had nowhere to stop the paint. Now, I didn't go along the edge. I painted over the edge. I painted over the line that I drew. Uh, but that let me know where I, where I could stop. I also drew some swirls in the sky as guidelines. You can't see them very well with my uh, pencil because I drew them so lightly. But I drew the swirls and I drew some stars. And I kind of checked them, see if they were the way that I wanted them to be before I started painting anything. Uh, I chose cool colors, but you could do warm colors in the sky. You could do warm and cool colors. You could do complementary colors and so on. Uh, I guess you could say I also did complementary because I used blue and orange but I wasn't really trying to do complimentary. I just made my stars yellow and then faded them with, that, with some orange a little. So I'm not sure if that's real evident. Um, but anyway, I just chose cool colors. And I continued to mix my uh, blue with white to get it lighter or more blue. I had some black there that I could use, but I never really got around to using the black. Um, I thought it was fine with just a uh, monochromatic uh, blue sky. I've sped this up eight times its normal speed, so uh, it, it's the video is only about eight minutes long, but the entire process took me about 45 minutes. I continuously went back and forth and made some places lighter and some places darker. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to achieve was like a nice, even, smooth swirl in the way of Van Gogh. By the way, it, uh, you should actually look at some Van Gogh paintings, especially Starry Night, before you get started and kind of examine them and uh, figure out what it was that Van Gogh was trying to achieve. And then uh, copy that to the best of your ability. Not copy what he did actually, what he actually did on the painting, but copy his movements. I think it really helps when I made the uh, stars. And then the uh, bottom I had to add a little bit more paint to because I almost forgot part of it. Then I came back with oil pastels of similar colors and I made the dashes and this is what really makes it look like a Van Gogh painting uh, because he used a lot of those little dash marks, those little hatch marks uh, to demonstrate movement and give it uh, energy. Uh, as I was doing this, I, I got to a certain point and kind of thought I was done and I asked a friend of mine, you know, what they thought about it and he said, that it was supposed to be a Van Gogh, so I needed way more dash marks. So, uh, word to the wise, word in advance, is that uh, you cannot have enough of the little dash marks, I don't think. Uh, you can mix them up. Uh, I only use blue and white and light blue uh, for the sky, um, except for around the stars, I use some yellow and some orange, you'll see in a minute. But... You cannot have enough hatch marks. 
cannot have enough of these little dashes. When you think you've done enough, don't do some more. I then glued down the photocopy at the bottom of the page so that it overlapped the skyline. And I put a thin coat of the main color, which for me was blue. I uh, put a, a little bit of blue, real thin coat of blue over the photocopy to uh, help it to unify with the rest of the picture. And then I continued to use uh, dash marks and hatch marks with the oil pastels uh, on the photocopy. Eventually my entire photocopy was covered. I'm not sure that that's necessary, but I didn't like the way certain things looked as I went. And so I continued to add more and more and more until eventually uh, the photocopy was no longer really visible in any way. And that's okay do what you need to do to make it look uh, good to make it look the way you want it to look So if you uh, have been following along and you like the way this is turning out, please give me a thumbs up down at the bottom. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, please leave those in the comments. Remember, I'm colorblind and so I'm using monochromatic colors because of that. Uh, but let me know what you think and how it turned out despite the fact that I'm colorblind. Also, don't forget to head on over to artiscula.com and check out all of her great art projects. Go make smart.